A lot of players struggle to make shots in games, and the reason for this is that a lot of times their training doesn't prepare them for it. If you aren't able to shoot the ball under pressure with a defender closing out to you, and if you aren't also adaptable and able to make shots when you don't catch the ball cleanly or when there's a bad pass thrown to you, you're going to struggle to make shots in games when both of those things happen. Right here, we're going to go through two drills that target both of these areas, and once you start doing these drills, you're going to see a massive improvement in your ability to make shots in real games. Let's get into it. If you're going to face me, you can go like, probably a step into the paint. You move in either direction, so it doesn't matter. As soon as you move, I'm going to pass to you. When that pass goes, you can go. But you can go anywhere you want. So like maybe you start low way, same thing. You can start corner, whatever. Everything's contested, though. We're going to go score, you stay. We're going to go first to five makes here. Ideally, number one, you just shoot it fast, and you don't have to worry about it. Or let's say she does a great job closing out to you. You can shot fake. Shot fake if you absolutely have to do it. So for this drill, the offensive player is going to start along through pull line wherever they want and the defensive player is going to start with their back facing them about four to five feet in front of them in the mid range. That offensive player is going to relocate either direction and I'm going to make them a pass. As soon as I pass the ball, the defender in the mid range is closing out to contest the shot. The offensive player gets a shot fake in one dribble if they absolutely need it. What this drill does is that it introduces the demands of a real game. The offensive player has to be able to focus and still make a shot despite the fact that somebody's coming to contest their shot. Every shot is also coming off of movement which is very similar to how it's going to be in a game as well. And while this will cause them to miss more shots in the actual drill it's going to translate to them making more shots in games because these reps translate much better than reps without defense hands behind your back to start it i'm going to throw you the ball you gotta wait until you're about to hit with the ball before you actually catch as long as you can wait like if i don't move my hands now i'm going to get hit in the face of the ball men catch it and then shoot yes i want that though so right here each offensive player is going to start along the three-point line with their hands interlocked behind their back and they'll be sliding back and forth casually so that the place that they catch the ball each time is going to be a little bit different rep to rep at some point i'm going to pass on the ball they're going to wait as long as they can before they actually get their hands out to catch it so now we're simulating a late catch on top of that also sometimes throw the ball high low to one side or the other this drill targets another demand of in-game shot making which is the ability to be adaptable so even if you have to catch the ball late or it's not a super clean catch or that pass is bad, you're able to adapt and still catch it and make the shot anyway. Committing to these drills, I hope you become a way better in-game shot maker. So grab a friend or a teammate and go try it out. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you're new and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.